Aside from washing your hands with soap, you may have heard experts talking about the viral load when it comes to protecting yourself and others from the coronavirus. But what does this exactly mean and why is it so important? Here are two types of scenarios to help understand what viral load means. For example, in scenario one, if you sit with one person and catch this virus, you will get a small viral load. Your immune system will start to fight it and by the time the virus starts replicating, your immune system is ready to kill it. And so you may suffer from some symptoms of the virus, but importantly, you will recover and be fine. But in scenario two, if you sit in the same room with six people that are all carrying and spreading the virus in some shape or form, you can get six times the initial dose. This rise in the viral load increases the chance of the infection to take hold in your body before your immune system can prevent it. So there is a higher chance of you becoming critically ill. Medicines will not help you in this process as there is no cure yet for this virus. But hospitals will support you with oxygen to help you breathe and if required a ventilator whilst your immune system is given time to battle the virus. So when you are in isolation in your own home with your family members, it is important to pay close attention to some points. If you are a large family and one of you is unwell, even with mild symptoms, you should refrain from sitting in the same room as this will make others unwell or more unwell if they are already suffering from the virus. So for example, a family of six people may produce double the number of droplets a family of three in the same space would produce. This is why medical bodies recommend that if one of you is symptomatic in your household, you should assume you could all be carrying the virus and so you should all self-isolate and also make sure you keep some space from one another in your own home. Using face masks can also help reduce the spread of the virus as well as hand sanitizers. All these measures can help to ensure a reduced exposure. This is the reason medical bodies recommend social distancing is practiced when possible and as much as possible until this pandemic is over. This obviously will be difficult for parents with young children who have the virus as comforting your child during illness is a natural and must response. The number of people in a room is just one example given here that can have an impact on the viral load your body is exposed to, but by no means is it exclusive. It should also be noted that people with underlying health conditions such as cancer and autoimmune conditions can still be affected severely by even a low viral dose due to their immunity being compromised. Extra care should be taken. This is the reason social distancing is encouraged as well as washing your hands with soap regularly.